So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Then you want to click on check for updates. Make sure that your operating system is fully up to date. For the second step, you want to make sure that your graphics card drivers are also up to date. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I'm using GeForce Experience. You want to head over to the drivers tab and then click on check for updates. If you have an AMD graphics card, you want to download the software for that and then make sure the drivers are fully up to date. Now you want to head over to OBS. You want to click on file and then click on settings. Then you want to click on video. Now once you're on this, you want to head over to search and then type in display settings. Click on it. You want to scroll down and then make sure that your scale is on 100% recommended and that your display resolution is on your native monitor's resolution. Then you want to head back into OBS and then make sure that your base resolution and your output scaled resolution is both on the same as your display settings. And then you want to click on apply. Now for the next step, you want to click on output and then you want to set the output mode to advanced. If you have a decent NVIDIA graphics card, you want to set your video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC. But if not, you could just go back onto X264. Now under encoder settings, you want to make the rate control CBR. And then next to bit rate, if you're streaming in 1080p 60fps, you want to change the bit rate to 4500. But if you're streaming in 1080p 30fps, you want to change the bit rate to 3500. You want to set the keyframe interval to 2, preset on good quality, tuning on high quality, profile on high, and then the other settings are personal preference. Then you want to click on apply, and then you want to click on the recording tab. You want to make sure the recording format is set to MP4. If you have a decent NVIDIA graphics card, you want to set your video encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H.264. But if not, you could just go back on X264. Then you want to click on apply, and then you want to click on advanced. Now once you're on this, you want to set the process priority to above normal. Then you want to scroll down, and then you want to set the bind to IP on default. And then click on OK. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.